Welcome, welcome back to the Fortnite Gamer channel and welcome back to Stellaris with the Order of Man. Quite so. We're gonna see if we can save this planet from a bunch of rampaging giants. But I fear we're gonna be Planet on time. Invasion. Hostile yeah. fleet engaged. We're not gonna be on time. Now this. Of course there's an instant station there. Special project complete. Ah, yes. Our investigation of the Onsen doesn't yield any results. However, there have been some odd reports coming from Endurance Colonia. Several colonists have claimed to have, to have spotted a mysterious creature that they say matches our summary of the notes on the elusive Carcosa. But when we compare their reports to these notes, none of them seem to match in either appearance or behavior. The Endurance Colonia scientific director swears that he double-checked each sighting himself, the only possible conclusion is that severe oversight by all personnel involved. Right, that's just the start though. Come on, one day. Good. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Land the armies. Titan Busters. Can add that to the resume. Enemy troops landing. Enemy planet secured. Planet lost to invasion. There we go. Yeah, this stuff happens, you know. Right. Time to go back. Nova Constantinople. Special project complete. Implant removed. Right, another science ship that has nothing to do. Uh, it's kind of risky, but go for it. Down that one. I think that's the right way to go. Now there was a wearing world somewhere here. Don't know where it was anymore. Here? No. Uh, very rich world, probably. Odd. Don't know where it is. And how are they losing this war? Seriously. Are you dead dumb? Anyway, I've lost a dreadnought, so let's create another dreadnought. Um least one battle cruiser to focus on right now and nine carriers 
now. Though the carriers could probably be built elsewhere. Built me some light carriers. Built me some light carriers. Built me some light carriers. Thing is, I could probably have won the battle over there and destroyed a bunch of their ships, but I would have lost everything of myself. Everything. And if there's something that is not worth it, it's losing your entire fleet to basically a minor win. Because if they wanted to, they could have just plowed through me afterwards. That world is so tempting, but that fallen empire is an isolationist empire. That's really not. Like, this thing is really annoying. Like, really, really, really annoying. But use is in a federation. I think. Not an alliance. Make tributaries. United Laborious Commonwealth. United Laborious Commonwealth. Oh, that's only one dude. Something, something hierarchy. That's a small system as well. God damn it. But the only reason they still exist is because of this guy. Principality. <sighs> Otherwise Dell would have they would have taken them quite easily. Hello. Get rid of the stations over there, but there's a 70k fleet there. Sheen Uprising. Sovereign. The who? Sovereign Syndemists. Ah. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay. There is two end game events in here now. Oh dear. Oh dear. You know, um... <laughs> They're coming. God damn it. There's probably a bunch of fleets there, they can't stop them either. Survey complete. Oh, everybody's opening Research borders. Complete. Wow. Hello. Thank you. Yes. I'm sure where I deserved that from though. It's been nothing but a pain for you guys. Flowering war being, you know evil and all that. Nice. Ah. 
I am an evildoer. System survey complete. Don't trust the evildoer. <laughs> what I'm probably going to be doing in between this episode and next episode is just play. Uh, for how long it takes for me to reach a point which is relatively interesting. Because uh, we're just rebuilding, fighting, rebuilding, fighting, rebuilding, fighting, rebuilding, fighting. Uh, what I'm probably going to be doing is I'm going to do some skirmishes uh, with the Unbidden in between episodes. Uh, just so that um, we get to a point where we can go towards a wrapping up point of some sort. Especially with the patch around the corner, so. These episodes are relatively slow because of that turn timer thing as well. Uh, I'm debating going for a much smaller galaxy next time. Uh, either 600 or 500 stars. Um, if that's even an option, I don't actually remember. I don't make games that often. <laughs> Memorize the option screen. Uh, and then go with a few less empires. Because whilst this is fun, I mean, look at this galaxy. It's great, it's glorious. It's slow. Well, it slows the game down, substantially, so, I don't know. In the next episodes, I'll do some skirmish with the Embidden, and see if I can crush a fleet into or two, and I'll give you a battle report after we are done. After I've crushed at least two of these fleets and did like a few hours of back and forthing, back and forthing. It's not very fun for you guys to keep watching me rebuild the fleet. Do it. Rebuild the fleet. Go on. Rebuild the fleet. Go on. Rebuild the fleet. Especially with dreadnoughts and other things that just take forever to build. I'm kind of excited though, because this is another like uh, endgame event thing which is really neat. So we have two two invasions right now which is interesting. And with that I'm thinking also of putting the episode to a stop around 20 minutes today. Uh, simply because of this as well. I you are mostly filled up, right? Yeah. But you. Yeah, not bad. I do it automatically, but I'll my hand here. Do 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 do. Arctic. Tropical. And it's surveyed now. That's very useful. Um, you are going to be cold after Whirlwind comes Wildfire. Wildfire Dust. And that means that this planet is going to be cold. Dust of the Wildfire. There we go. And it's back in my territory, so if we're quick, I can survey it. And colonize it. And this continental world can be colonized. With it being a continental world, it's gonna be... Uh, wisdom, Colonia. Yeah. You are gonna be cold. Shard of wisdom. Intriguing. I don't know how I'm getting away with even expanding with a freaking 
invasion level event next to me. I'm not complaining. Loki class is almost done. Good. Sticks. Construction complete. Right. Just because you have the opportunity to doesn't mean you should. You'll probably Pursuit come back complete. with these two worlds colonized as well. And the Fabrihas sector being up to 11 worlds. That's insane. Research done. This <sighs> was useful out of him. Or should I make a new sector out of this? Got some worlds off. Construction complete. I don't know actually. They're not happy with me anyway. Border friction. That's only fifty something. Regenerating. A mollusk guide. Ah, this is another piece of the puzzle. We've been receiving word of a new species of uh, mollusk guide living on the intellect colonia. If reports are to be believed, the animal is several feet long, aquatic in nature, and has the ability to heal minor injuries. Through many colonies, though many colonies colonists are at ardent in their claims that the animal exists, the conclusive proof has yet to be found. Now it'll just get even funnier and more hilarious as time goes on. System survey complete. Terror bombing. Another freeze. Of course. Right side. Back up to, um... Oh. A reasonable amount of ships. Closing that 90k gap again. System survey complete. No! Can't seem to sit right on my chair today. Ah, oh, this is the ring place. Okay, so this is gonna be called uh, Ring of Inspiration. Oh. Colony established. Colony established. Engineer in the field. Construction complete. AI revolt. How have you been? Oh dear. <laughs> click, 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 click. Reverter's AI revolts is just madness going on right now. Fun though. I'm not going to come here because I don't have any robots. I 
I'm purely human. Research complete. Search done. Uh, Muffy Shilogen is going to be helpful. Uh, flak artillery or devastated torpedoes. Devastator torpedoes. Right. And two, one. Fifteen of those. This fleet back operational. Down to hammer. Not someone. Somewhere. Anyway, like I said, I'll cut this episode short for here. Uh, just to have some pass pa time time pass. Um. Do some harassment on the unbidden. See if I can uh, weaken them a little bit. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit of colonization as well over here. I'm gonna be switching this sec this into a new sector uh, called the um, well this frontier, and I'm gonna be switching this sector into the inner worlds frontier. In a world sector, at the very least. Uh, so that's a little different, I think, which will be spotted next time. You know what? In order to do a little bit more, um, I will uh, do that right now. Uh, I'll go to planets, create new sector. Uh, we'll make progress our core for this. There we go. And I still. No, not I still. This will be called the uh, Fabri has Fabri has Frontier, and you'll be called. Uh, in our world's sector. Same thing, financial, go. Rubber has, we'll have that. We'll have lost that. Actually, no. Right. Oh. Having split up that a little bit, uh, it means um, can colonize a bit more here. Can colonize that Arctic world. Uh, I can even take to the Tundra worlds if I want to. Um, but yeah. By five. This is going to be soon six, seven, eight. Well, at least seven, so. It's mostly why. Anyway, this is going to be the wrapping up point for today. Um, I'm going to be back. You're going to see a few years on the timer, I think, at the very least, because it's going to be, you know, build, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So, I thank you all for watching, and hopefully see you next time when I can report at least some victories over the Unbidden. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.